interested people spend working on uh, Ten Academy related stuff. So good morning, recording has started. It is August 23rd, 2021. Um, hope everyone is good. I see some new pictures up there. Steshi has changed her picture. Um, looks very professional, great stuff. Um, three to 24 is currently in the lead. Okay, so announcements. Uh, today's our first AMA, so Michael Darko is on the hot seat. So be here to learn everything you wanted to learn uh, about Michael Darko, ask questions, find out where, who he is and where he's from and what keeps him going, everything you always wanted to know. Um, AMA stands for Ask Me Anything. So feel free to ask anything reasonable. So I think we should call it AMAR. So it's not really anything, We're not really interested in what color his socks are, um, other things that are a little bit, yeah, not so, not so formal. Um, okay, in terms, last week was a busy week and this week will be a really interesting week. Those of you who have seen the challenge, um, I'm sure they have some thoughts on it already. Um, leaderboard has been updated, so please have a look at that. The badges we will, um, I think we have Abu Bakr wanted to announce the badges. He's currently having some electricity problems. So we will do that uh, on the tutorial later on today. Um, otherwise, yeah, not really any big uh, major announcements. The one-on-ones, um, those finished up last week. If anyone missed their one-on-ones or wasn't able to participate, please re reach out to Cindy or Yatiana, yeah? So I'd love to hear how we're doing. What's the atmosphere like? When we did this call, I think three weeks ago, it felt like it was sort of, um, yeah, it was actually two weeks ago when it was warning, warning, or maybe even three weeks ago, I don't remember exactly, um, when it was sort of flashing warning signs, things are really going terrible, we need a break. Um, how are we feeling? We're also getting close to the profiles. Last, actually, I forgot to announce that, profiles. You guys all owe me profiles so that we can help you get jobs. So you're here to get jobs. Um, can't get you a job without a profile. So, so who wants to go first? I'd love to hear um, how are you feeling? Um, what are your plans for the week? And anything, one non-work related thing or non tan Academy related thing to share. So how are you feeling? Plans for the week and one not related thing. And actually also reflections on last week. So let's let's do those four things. So I'm going to start with Harriet Sibitenda. Harriet, are you there? Are you in a position to speak? No, not working. All right, Michael. You got to get used to speaking. So Michael. Michael's our AMA guy and our starting us off today. So how are you feeling? How was last week? Um, one non-personal thing, one non-work related thing. Sorry, last week was uh, quite challenging for me. Not, uh, I mean, quite challenging as in the sense that uh, you, when you, when you get into um, like the point where you are putting in the uh, you are putting in efforts to get the challenges done. Then um, some other things come up that you need to put right. Actually, these are things which you wouldn't um, see see them if you are obviously starting out. But once whilst you are working on it, you realize that there are things that you need to tweak and all that. And trying to think outside and look at how that would be done was quite challenging for me. Moreover, uh, um, I think generally, I think it was a good challenge. I mean, it's kind of that. I think that is um, a challenge which actually um, gave me um, a test of uh, my abilities as far as your special staffs are concerned with respect to uh, Python and all that. So it was quite a good challenge for me from my end. I think so far what we've done in um, Ten Academy, that was that is something I really uh, enjoyed, a challenge I really enjoyed getting myself involved in. Um, that said, with, with respect to the report, um, the report of the challenge, as um, the the way the way the challenge um, the challenge was framed, I felt 
it's more of um, uh, a, a complete report for a project. So kind of you start, you have your methodology, you have your results and all that. And that one, was, that is also a challenging aspect for me. So trying to put all those together. And then finally, I would want to publish on that, um, on that data. So I'm just I'm putting all together so that the, the report would be good enough for publication and then also good enough for um, teaching others um, the process to go through. So for me, it was a really, really good challenge. And okay. uh, I think I'm also feeling well as well. Now I'm I'm quite okay because uh, I'm quite okay with the stress with the stress level because I've we've gone through several weeks and now you know what to expect and then how to handle them. So I think that's it from my end. And one non non one non work related thing. Non okay. So um, there was an announcement I was going to make in the ask me anything. So I think I'll put out I'll, I'll put it there. Okay. No. Um, you mentioned the need for a report. We asked for a package documentation. So where did you see that we needed a report? No, I, I mean the, uh, the final submission, the final submission for, uh, the, I mean, the, all the steps that, has, that you've gone through and then, um, uh, I mean, getting to the final stage. And that is what I'm saying that I felt, I felt like um, from my end, it's kind of a challenge to us from from my side to put it together and get it in that format so that I will be able to put it out to others and then um, probably my other colleagues who might be able to get a better insight into GIS and all that. Okay, but there's no, um, I mean, there was no need for a report. We asked for a, a documentation of the package. Yes, that's what I'm saying that that is the challenge from my end. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Who wants to go next? Love to hear from lots of people. So please raise your hand. Important for us to know what's the what's the sense of the the group. We're halfway through. We're going to finish up first of October. So please, can I have someone put their hand up? <clears throat> Same. Hello. Hi. Hi um, what should I talk about? The so I'd like to hear how last week was for you, okay. um, how you're feeling, and uh, anything that you're looking forward to for this week, if you've looked at the challenge, and one non-work related thing. But we want to get a sense of where you are, um, how you're feeling. Last week's challenge, um, the problems I faced were quite different from the other weeks in that the problem wasn't writing the code it's trying to figure out how to solve the problem in an efficient way where there is a lack of resources but um so it that took time and since i was new to the data it was a learning process it was fun i think it, it's probably the most fun I've had on a challenge because figuring out things is it's more interesting than going through a process, I guess. I don't know. Why. Um, and so I wasn't able to finish everything, but I was able to finish up everything my yesterday. Mm -hmm. So though my documentation wasn't as great as I hoped it would be, but mm -hmm. I think I'll work on it for the future. I think I have figured out a, a way for the future how to do it well and how to make structure it so that it gets the message across better. But I don't think I was able to do it well this time. And non related, an academy related thing. I don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> Sounds like it sounds like you're busy at work. Yeah. Uh, okay. I I didn't do much. I just I just worked on things. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I said it before, but I just wanted to I want to emphasize this again. Rest is also part of work. Um, learning to say no and to turn off. Um, as last week's challenge was thought intensive, this week's challenge is probably even more so. 
So I just want to emphasize that again. Same before before we go to the next person, and I'm going to ask people to raise their hands. If you're not in a position to speak, please type in the chat box. We really want to hear from everyone. It's not a make work session. We want to get a. I, it's personally important for me to know where people are. But same, are you uh, look at last week's challenge um, and the work that you did? To what extent are you? Um, do you would you be proud to talk through what you did and how you approached it in a job interview? Um, I would be somewhat confident in describing the work, but not entirely because I don't understand the, the at least I don't understand how the retrieval process, the underlying work, how it's done and how I could actually improve it. Mm -hmm. Since I don't understand it that well, that would be the shortcoming. Other than that, the other work, I would be somewhat confident in explaining. Mm -hmm. okay. And yeah. Good. OK. Thanks. Who's up next? Waiting for hands to go up, please, or people who can't type. People who can't speak, I'd love for you to type. So for everyone who's not putting their hand up, um, on the 4th of October, um, when you guys start really putting your heads down and getting into work, some of you, we hope, will already be working, you need to get used to giving an update to your team members. Where are you? How are you feeling? And part of it is just chit-chat. How am I feeling? Making chat about the weekend. Um, this is good practice. So if it's difficult in this situation, um, this is actually a good chance to practice. So I'd love to see everyone putting their hands up and practicing. Yeah, so we have first Kate, then um, Milky. Ah, good, now people are putting their hands up. Super, we found the formula. So Kate, Milky, and Fumbani. Uh, good morning. Morning. Um, so for me, last week was a bit of a, an emotional roller coaster, per se, I think. Mm -hmm. You know how I you expect that as we go into the weeks that it becomes easier and easier as you go. But um, on Friday, I I burnt out. I broke down and I decided I need to take a break. Mm -hmm. And I knew that it would cost me my time for the... Because the submission is on Saturday, but I was not capable of... Yani, I mean, my brain was just out mm -hmm. so i took a break on friday and on saturday and then um yesterday is when I, I did the work so i had really submitted my github link but i was updating everything at that point and i think it took me a really long time to kind of understand what exactly we were trying to do but once i rested and woke up feeling fresh i was able to do a lot in one day than i did majority of the week so yeah so it, the system failed somewhere kate we should never get to the point um where you break down during the week so how what would you say to your colleagues how do you what would you recommend to them how do you avoid getting to this point where you're sitting at your desk but you are not productive um i think knowing when to take a break because mm. sometimes you're you spend like four or five hours on one task and maybe the only reason you're not figuring it out is because you're not stepping out to do other things like you could go and stretch or take a walk or just get out of that situation because when i took that break things started making sense mysteriously like i was now understanding what i'm supposed to do so just knowing when to take a break or maybe having breaks after a few hours could work because mm. i feel like with when it comes to machine learning sometimes you're so determined to figure something out and you end up wasting even more time mm -hmm. yeah are you looking forward to this coming week yes i am i have read the documentation and i'm pretty excited um I have a math background, so it feels great to finally put it into use. <laughs> you haven't used any math yet. <laughs> Not um, really. And one non non uh, training related thing. 
Mm, I don't know. I don't think I, previous weeks, I would never work on a Sunday. But it made sense because I took a break on Friday and Saturday. So, yeah. Okay. I just watched series, yeah. Mm. Are you, so we feel like we tried for batch four to let people know it was going to be hard and we keep saying, take a break, take a break. What could we have done differently to prepare um, to, we want to get, it's not only about the, uh, the work to be done, but it's the approach to work. Um, I don't want for me personally with each of the people in batch four, I don't want you to get to work and to sort of burn out. What could we, how can we provide you with this skill of saying, you know what, I actually need five hours to think about it and then I'm going to go go for a walk, think about it, and come back to it. How can we encourage people to approach it like that? Mm, that's a tricky question. I think for this week's assignment, my approach is a bit different. I'm really trying to, because I've seen that the interim is, we're writing a report, so I'm trying to gain the information while writing before rushing into manipulating the data or because i you you need to understand what you're doing before you start coding so but to answer your question um maybe just more emphasis on knowing when to take a break okay yeah yeah okay uh milky hello good morning everyone Can good morning milky. very well yeah well uh Last week was uh, a learning process for me. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I have. I have no previous experience working with uh, geospatial data and retrieving uh, such kind of data from the uh, AWS instances and so on. But like the uh, the couple of uh, the couple of uh, around three days. The starting three days was complicated for me. Like I had to figure most of it and. Uh, was able to fetch the data and uh, do some processing and uh, uh, manipulations and visualization. But suddenly, <laughs> at the last moment, I understood uh, and discovered some other libraries and ways to perform the tasks. But uh, I reached, I reached on to, I, or I discovered this. Um, modules and libraries later on, and my understanding increased just as the time was ending. So I wasn't able to submit a good work, but I have uh, some kind of understanding for uh, for such kind of tasks uh, if if I get to do it again sometime later on through my work experience or something. Would you be proud discussing this on a job interview? Uh, sort of, but <laughs> not entirely, not entirely because like <laughs> I don't unless I have a deep understanding of something like I feel I feel I don't know a lot to describe to, to another person mm -hmm. and when whenever they ask some question uh, when I reply to that I feel like I might be wrong so <laughs> I I don't want to approach it to when I don't have enough or some kind of uh, uh, a, a better understanding of what I did or uh, a deep understanding of what to say and how to answer it or how to approach the question. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and may, may I add one uh, comment on that? Because this is key, um, probably it seems repeating. It, it, it would be interesting to think about minimal sets instead of deep understanding. And I can guarantee you, none of what you think you understand deeply, you haven't understood them. Like, I think that's like very probably correct statement for anyone. So it's about actually what you are talking is the minimal set that you have in mind to answer, right? So just some kind of feeling that you understand something. And the good way, I mean, the, the trick usually is that to ask yourself, what are those minimal sets like in your head that you haven't understood? And then basically answering them, even in your report, right? So whenever you write a report, I mean, that's the opportunity whenever you, you write a blog, that's the opportunity to say like, what is a minimal set that would just make me understand, like, or at least say, 
I understand that, okay, you know, I don't understand the rest, but, you know, this is the good start, a good place where it can make me productive. I think if you start thinking that way, it, it gets easier because this false uh, uh, perception of that something you understand better, it actually gives, takes you in a, not in a good place usually because you're confident, but without actually knowing you are that steep. And then sometimes you, you may understand something, but you don't have that false confidence. So I would say trying to think is like, okay, what is the minimal set that would allow me to feel confident and honest? So honest means like, okay, I don't understand this, 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 because it, it's a bit more complicated. But then this, this, this part I understand. And, you know, the general picture, I get it, or the kind of this specific picture, I get it. So if you think of in that way, probably it might help. I think this is for everyone. Yeah, one, uh, one, one of my problems was that I, I think that my approach wasn't the, the way that it should have been done. Uh, that's why <laughs> I wasn't so confident about uh, describing what I did. But, but in the contrary, uh, I can explain what I did, the methods I used, how I understood the problem, and how I interpreted it, interpreted it in my own way. I can explain that for sure. So it's, a, <clears throat> it's one of the things that we heard from uh, as feedback from the one-on-ones this idea of asking questions. Um, so Yevabal and I spent a, at least an half an hour, maybe an hour talking about that on Friday. It's something that we want to bring in. And I think that's to an extent what he was saying. And what's also in my mind, you don't have to have all of the answers. It's, it's very fair and it's the right thing to do to say, this is what I did. I don't fully understand how this process worked, or I would like to learn more about this, or I'm not confident there. Even just saying that is providing useful information that you don't know something or you're not fully confident in something. The, ex the expectation that we are preparing you for, the jobs that we are preparing you for, we are not preparing you to rewrite the Google search algorithm. You should be joining a team where you will be asked to give feedback and say, okay, how can you do this? To what extent are you confident on this? You should never say something that you don't know, but it's completely fair to say, I haven't understood this yet or I haven't got this part of my work done yet, or I'm still thinking about a better way to approach this. That's 100% fair, and I would encourage everyone in their careers to do that. Um, well, I want to make one last point before going to Fumbani. I hear, I, I, I would be curious, if we were to say, look, here's everyone's certificate, um, everyone graduates, everyone's going to finish in October, now we still have uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, we have six challenges left. Would that take the stress away? I know it's a lot of work, but the you've gotten this far. You guys have really distinguished yourselves. If everyone continues on this pathway, you will get to the end. You guys are on a good track. Everyone who's here should finish. Um, from our side, everyone is on track to finish. So I, I would love to think about ways to take the stress away. All of you have made it past the hardest parts, and now it's a question of staying on this train. So I would love to take that stress away. I don't know how to do that. Fumbani, you're up next. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so last trick for me, when I read the challenge the first time, I found it very interesting, though I've never worked with related data before, but I felt like it was something which was very interesting. I generally, the, the task was challenging and I, I think I did not do some of the tasks, but I managed to do uh, the basics of the task. So I think I was on the right track with that one. <laughs> yeah, so, and also last week I spent most of my time traveling around running errands. So I would work on the task later in the evening for let's say one or two hours and then, so yeah, but um, yeah, that was last week for me. And one uh, non-training related activity. Uh, Share one thing not related to training with us. Uh, I think I think I don't really have anything because I spent. I would just say I spent the the week traveling most of the time. Okay. And how's your? How are you feeling? What's your What's your inner self? Uh, my inner self. I'm not really stressed. Um, I'm just at peace. So I'm looking forward to this week's challenge and 
see how we can work with with friends and try to get it right. Okay. I think we have time for one more. So who wants to practice? Dibra, actually, uh, not now. Okay. Go ahead, please. Okay. Hi, guys. Morning. Morning. Okay. Thank you. So uh, from my side, like most of the weeks were challenging, but this one it was even harder and it was even more challenging than I expected. Because when I start every week, uh, I will start by saying uh, this week is going to be better. And when I see the tasks, they seem a little bit smaller. So I thought uh, I could do it. Then after that started, understanding the questions was uh, hard at first and it is still hard for me to understand those questions again so uh, I tried to discuss with friends and everything uh, try to attend every team meeting try to check out most of the things but at some points I get uh, stressed out like uh, I couldn't figure out a way to understand it and uh, uh, even though when I see the resources I try to you know, skim them uh, but uh, like give up like no I couldn't understand it so I asked a friend around get something and I would work on it uh, for a while then uh, get stuck then that was how the week uh, went by and I'm not that much confident about uh, week six projects uh, for me personally yeah <clears throat> Do you feel like you made, uh, you learned something during the week? Okay, yeah. The couple of things I've learned are like uh, to ask more people uh, and it helps to understand topics. And I have managed to use uh, the AWS like uh, uh, nicely, better than the previous weeks. Uh, that's something I think. Uh, yeah, that should be it. And uh, like, uh, not to give up easily, like I persisted longer on this week's tasks, uh, better than the others. Uh, but it was very challenging. And uh, even uh, to ask you questions, uh, it was very hard for me because I couldn't figure out which parts to ask, how to ask. And some of the things seems uh, vague. And uh, it was challenging even to ask you questions. So that was it for me. Yeah, yeah, dealing with vagueness is hard. Um, and I think these open-ended questions are are difficult. Um, yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. How's, how's you, how are you feeling? How are you feeling about next week? Or this week, rather? Okay, for this week, I'm feeling, uh, well, I, I will try to stay, to stay positive because each week <laughs> is challenging. Because when we join a week zero, you promised us that everything is going to be smooth, and, but it's not. So. But what, what, but, but, but what 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 do you expect by smooth, right? We're trying to fit a lot in. There's a lot of work to be done. Um, I mean, actually, you you probably learn more than you would otherwise. The smoothness, um, I don't know. It depends on how you define smooth. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, it depends on every every person. But uh, for me, like since uh, uh, the methodology, like uh, we came from the schooling background, and this is kind of a more of a training kind of thing. And shifting the mentality or maybe changing the way I think about the problems or solve the things I don't know it just <laughs> it's hard I'm, for me no but it's good to hear that I'm going to share a clip from the movie Gladiator I don't know if anyone's seen Gladiator it's an older movie uh, for me it was when I was uh, probably your age but he goes out and he like people go to see people fighting and this guy is such a good fighter he gives them exactly what they expect, but he's um, it's much faster and much more brutal than they expect. And he gets angry at the crowd and he's like, are you not entertained? So partly we're, we're here to get you job ready by the 1st of October. And so there's a lot of material to cover. And not now, I think you're right. That mindset change is what we're trying to create. You're faced with a vague problem and you need to, what we're really proud of is our graduates go out and they can approach, uh, they fearlessly approach poorly structured problems. That's what we've heard from one of our employers. And even better in at least one case, and I'd say in two cases, much better or much better than people from other parts of the world. And that's part of what we want to 
um, create. And of course, that you sh it shouldn't get to the point where you destroy yourself to solve the company's problems. But this, this I, I wish we could get over it. Maybe it's because we're in the middle. But this worry or the stress, you guys are really on the right track. Um, I can only continue to emphasize that. That's nice to hear from you. We're on the right track. So please send me everyone's the profiles. I think Rachel had her hand up, and then we'll go over to the AMA, unless I'm sure Yavabel has something to add or anyone else on the team. OK, good morning to everyone here. Yeah. Good morning, Rachel. Um, for me, the rest weeks was rest weeks challenge was so intense, uh, but uh, I tried to get grasp of it at the end of this week. Uh, and what I want, uh, I, I want to thank everyone who gave me a help. Well, I'll ask about it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all. I, I tried to get a grasp of it. Uh, the thing is, uh, there are some challenges that are so specific, like this was so somehow specific on the Earth things geography. Yeah, so uh, the the thing I have, like I can give an advice from what I have discovered is when we are given a challenge uh, in a certain area, so you can like you can go and approach for those people who know, like you know the they are they are in that area so you try to like they explain to you yeah the the, the like the challenge if the challenge is talking about the geographic things you go and he give you some duration it will help you to understand the challenge and put it yeah giving the, the useful results because you understand what you're doing yeah that's uh, i hope you're feeling well guys See you. And Rachel, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm good. I'm fine now. Yeah, I'm feeling and I'm ready for this week's challenge. Are you chilling? Are you optimistic? Are you chilling? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. We, Rachel, we need, we need you to hold a tutorial on how to chill. Oh. <laughs> I, everyone, I, I, know, uh, I think that everyone has his way of chilling. <laughs> What's your way of chilling? What did you do yesterday? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, yesterday, uh, I didn't do much. <laughs> I went to my friend's home. She, her father died, so I went to see her. So, yeah, that's what I did yesterday. But the, on the cheering, uh, when I want to cheer, I run new things, like those things that I don't know. <laughs> Which uh, which which requires to use hands, yeah. Oh, okay. Like what? What sort of things do you learn? Like carpentry, like woodwork. Oh yeah, that can be one of the things you can do. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Riding, yeah. The new things like you like like you wish to know in the future. Like what 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 if I I, I try to get more like a grasp of them from now. Yeah. Actually I run I like to run new things. Yeah. Which I, I don't know. Good. No, that's really good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so to wrap up just to summarize the announcements. So leaderboard has been posted. Badges will be announced during this the tutorial this afternoon. Um, please send your profiles. Um, if you haven't scheduled a one on one then please reach out to Cindy and or Yati, uh, Yatiana, and uh, yeah, Germain has his hand up. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I was about to ask about the profiles. Actually, yeah. I, I tried to access the profile link. I don't know how everyone is, how, how to fill it like from there. You know, you have to make you have to duplicate it, make a copy and then fill it in. Now, I think some people have edited the template. So if the template needs to be reset, let me know and I can do that. But take yeah, the template and edit it and copy it first. I'm sorry. And then edit it. If it needs to be reset, send me a message. Yeah, be, yeah be, because I've seen some things have been changed. Like when I try to reach out to the template, I found 
someone's template like i know but this is the best part is then we know who it is because you they have their name and their photo and then we can go to them and be like what do you do yeah. Yeah. can i have the the, the former the first one you 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 you, you I, i'll have around. to read I'll have to reset it. I'll take it back. But I mean, I have to just to call Desmond out. Last night, I went in to look at it, and I saw Desmond's yeah. profile. <laughs> yeah, Desmond. yeah. So Desmond, yeah, please. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm giving you five minutes, and then I'm gonna <laughs> take the template back. So please copy it now. Go now. Don't 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 hesitate. Yeah, this so is the time to stress. Don't chill. Yeah. Take your. <laughs> And, and, uh, is there an, uh, a submission for the template, or we fill it like easily? There's a whole document. There's a whole document. The careers document is there. Um, okay. Ask around. There's a <clears throat> there's a whole document describing what you need to do. Um, but remember, we're our promise to you guys, or our offer to you guys, is we want to get you job ready and actually help place you into work. So this is why the profile is what we need from you. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, no. it's it's important to do, but there is there is a full document. Yeah, thank you. Let me let me share it right here while Yatiana had her hand up. So, uh, Yatiana, over to you. Good morning. There's the rooster. Yatiana comes with her own entry music, which is wonderful. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Um, I just wanted to let everyone know that um, we're all just um, rooting for you guys to just get to the finish line. Um, for the one-on-one -on -one feedback, um, so far, I know that we had four people who missed their slots. So I've already um, set up um, an appointment for them. So if you know you <laughs> if you know you're not a part of the four people or you did not get any calendar invites kindly just send me a DM so we can arrange something for today okay and definitely my my roosters will be there so it it should be fun <laughs> All right any last words otherwise we'll go straight into the AMA You have a bell, are you online I'm I'm online. I'm just trying. I was trying to find my mute button, uh, unmute button. So yeah, I think like let's do probably after the AMA because I I want to go through just the thinking behind this week's challenge. It's slightly different from um, the weeks that you have seen already because most of the weeks we were much more concerned about client and and you know delivery, uh, which is really key. And because we are training. As a machine learning engineer training you're being trained as a machine learning engineer most of the time you need to know those ones like i would say priority number one should be to know and you know think about that and, and make make sure you know you understand the full consequence of that and this week slightly data science a lot more you know kind of going back to the very essential element of the entire thing that you do like as an engineer you know if you are doing some I don't know, some computer design, you may sometimes need to understand a little bit about what is, you know, uh, kind of chips made of, like what are semiconductors, um, because it is essential that you need to know, you know why the whole business is kind of being built, right? And why it's, you know, the company thinks this is profitable. So to align with the objectives of a company or like in whatever you do, Sometimes you need to understand the bigger picture and you know what are the essential elements of it such that in your deployment you can you are able to plan it accordingly. That means that you know some change will come because this the key elements will probably not yet addressed and in the future they will be addressed and that means change. And therefore, you know, if you are an engineer, a good engineer, you make the system robust enough against those expected changes. And this week's challenge is a lot more on that foundational elements um, and useful, but I would say in some ways slightly theoretical um, component. But it's exciting because everything you, you, you didn't have an opportunity so far to reflect on, you know, why all this, you will have the chance this week. And this is not yet established field in, in a sense, just like, you know, type of machine learning or deep learning still kind of being worked out 
and its usefulness kind of becoming more apparent. So I want to go through that kind of like the detail and where you should focus, what materials you need to read, but what is expected because the task could be complex, but what is expected um, from this week later, maybe just in the tutorial. So maybe we can just go now to the Q&A. Or I, uh, sorry, ask me everything. All right. OK, uh, handing over to Cindy and Michael. I'm going to stop recording. Great. Thank you so much. Drum rolls, everyone, for 